Today I'm presenting the Kawai GX7, seven and a half foot grand piano, and like it says, respond to the musical calling of a semi-concert grand. Stick around. Hi, Ted Barsley with Alamo Piano Galleries. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, go, feel free to list those. We like to interact uh, with the listeners and viewers. And also, if you haven't already, please shop our website at alamopianogalleries.com. A lot of the instruments that are featured here on the videos are also there in the store. You can check out a lot of the details, what's on sale, what the prices are, and also some of the finer tuned specifications of each instrument. And as mentioned today, this is the response to, and it really says this in a brochure, hear the musical calling of a semi-concert grand. And this is the GX7 uh, from Kauai, and it is a semi-concert grand piano. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's an interesting instrument because it is, I played the SK7s as well, but they're, they're really close, there's, there's a difference, but to me, this is a wonderful, wonderful instrument, and it is just multifaceted for every use, from classical to jazz to pop. It's just a phenomenal instrument, and it's fun to play. The first thing you see when you look at it is the gigantic rim featuring their hardwoods, and then also that's what makes up most of the piano at seven and a half feet. And uh, the other thing I like to point out is some of the features that are stand out is they do have a brass, uh, what you call it, lid prop, and then they have three positions where the lowest one is brass. I think that's an actual addition to show off the finer gold or brass appointments that make up the instrument. And also, there are also these really wonderful looking brass a grouse on keys one through 54, and that adds a lot of tuning, uh, tuning stability to the instrument, along with the solid, which is their strategic overlap bar. And what that is, is it's basically their pin block doesn't just go down, it goes underneath and around the frame over around the top of the piano, which is what this is here. And that adds a lot of stability, particularly with the tuning. The tuning. And you also have a steel reinforced key slip and key bed. So this is a solid foundation working grand piano at seven and a half feet. I can't imagine the only reason why you would want a full concert grand is just sheer volume to fill up the space, but this is a wonderful, wonderful instrument. And we're gonna go ahead and have a listen. And before we do that, I want you to listen particularly to the temperament and the tuning. So it's got a little kind of a smoother polish on it, at least it's supposed to. So I'm kind of enticing comment, let's have a listen.
outside of my tuning experiment on the red piano with the Workmeister tuning, I tuned this piano and didn't say anything to what I did with it to anyone. And I started getting comments and noticing that people were playing it longer than they were some of the other ones. And the only difference is that this is a Kernberger temperament. And the scale is pushed a little bit differently, but for some reason it really opens up and expands the overall sound of every piano. I've, I experimented first with the GL10, and then I moved to a couple of uh, the original five foot 11 inch Kawhi design pianos, and I had great results with it. So we've been getting people into the store, have been playing a little bit longer with just a little bit different kind of scale other than equal temperament. Other than that, and there was a few unisons that were out and I did a quick, fast brush up. I like to talk about the tunes because that really is what you're hearing. And the tuning does affect the overall tune and tone and just the way the piano responds to the player. Uh, the temperament just matches the instrument when it's perfectly tuned and it's the same of equal temperament. But for some reason, the Kernberger sounds a lot like it. It makes you feel like you are playing an instrument that you've heard on a recording at some time in the past. And with that, I'm enticing and asking for questions and comments just about the overall sound and uh, perspective. I mean, how did this piano make you feel when you listen to it? I didn't play it super, super long. I wanted to keep it short and sweet so it's like a little bit more enticing. There's gonna be other pianos tuned this way coming up in future videos. And until then, I wanna thank you for watching Alamo Piano Galleries. My name is Ted, and if you go into any of our stores, tell them Ted sent you, and we'll see you soon.